Life is an amazing podcast and it is presented and hosted by myself, Caro, and my sweet dog, Sparky. Give it up for him. I hope you're ready. Enjoy. Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Go For Your Life. Um, I am connecting all the way to my old country that I lived in for 10 years and I love it so much. We're going down under to Sydney with the lovely Valerita. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm so happy you're here. Yeah, I'm happy to be here as well. Thank yes. you so much for inviting me. Yes, it's yes, fake. yes. Yes. Um, so you run a beautiful project called Yogi Town Guru. Or is it yeah. just Yogi Town? It's Yogi Town Guru, right? It's Yogi Town, but uh, for availability of like website, ah! name, all that. <laughs> Town Dog Guru. Yeah. It's nice. It's uh, both, both, both just sound like go really well in the mouth, you know? Yogi Town, Yogi Town Guru. They're all. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's an amazing project that I I just love, you know. And I also we know each other personally from uh, from the scene um, from years and years and years ago. And I've been following you for all these years, and I'm just so proud of you. And I'm proud of what you do. And I think that you're coming from such a place of heart. Um, the things that you're creating and uh, and the veganism is such a important um, part of it as well, Ahimsa. And um, I'm looking forward to chat with you a little bit about your project yeah yeah because right now you're oh yeah (laughs) right now we're sitting you're sitting in your studio right we're looking at your studio yeah i am in my studio i am i moved to this warehouse uh like at the beginning of the year and it's really interesting because i was sort of manifesting to find a place (laughs) where i have yogi town and an office and a place to come and work. And, um, you know, you dream big and you said, oh, how awesome would it be to find a vegan warehouse where everyone is a vegan business. <laughs> it's just amazing. And I don't know, it was like six months later, um, it happened. So wow. it was, I have to be there, I have to be there. And here I am. So I love here because it's a... Um, a restaurant downstairs, which is a vegan restaurant. So everybody sort of that works in the space is hmm. always values. And, yeah, we all support each other. It's really cool. And what's the restaurant called, Well, Green Lion. Green Lion. Yeah. Awesome. So it's like it's pub food. They had a pub in Annandale or Roselle. Yeah, Roselle. And um, now they're doing mainly um, frozen meals and just deliver all over Sydney and Australia. So it's just like making pre-made, pre-made meals mm-hmm. available. For ah, so, that's perfect. Yeah. That's really awesome. Yeah. And so, because how long has Yogi Town been going now? Mm, probably four years now. Mm. It's like, it's funny because it doesn't have a date where I started. <laughs> It's, it was really, um, it came along really organically. I never sort of said, oh, I'm going to make a brand that is this and that. It was more, um, it was more about me creating something to thank my teachers Mm -hmm. and something that was inspired in obviously yoga philosophy, but also. And then I would go and practice someone's class and then like just get this quote or this sentence in my brain and then it was like started sketching and then it became a t shirt and and then a gift for my teachers. So I don't know when was the la- the first one. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like I'll have to really go back in time and sort of look. Yeah, and, and so also because so Yogi Town it's basically uh, a brand, right? Like you, you do your own screen printing and you do lots of different, like you make t-shirts, but you also make these cute flags and you make, you know, you make all kinds of, I mean, you make things customized for me, <laughs> placemats and all these kind of things like you do. Um, and you really have your own style. That's what I love so much about you. But did you, did you have a, any kind of like fashion or design background? Did you, how, how do you know to do what you do? Yeah, so I studied fashion design mm. um, back home. I'm from Chile, <laughs> so 
people coming to Australia, I, I study that and I um, I love fashion, but not in the sense that mo it's mostly seen. Like I choose fashion because I think it's a way we communicate and we express mm -hmm. ourselves and we put out like some sort of message mm -hmm. that we want people to read it's all visual so um that was that was the reason why i went down the, this path but then all this fast fashion came in and sort of like people was like buying clothes way too many and it was too cheap and it's sort of like i didn't want to be part of that mm -hmm. so we stopped and also because when i came to australia I, it was sort of really hard for me. I didn't speak English. Mm -hmm. So then I couldn't find a fashion designer job or something related to fashion because I couldn't speak the language. Mm -hmm. And and then, well, just going back in time. So then, <laughs> then over all this time, I found yoga. And, mm -hmm. and it only made sense to go back to make clothes or sort of use clothes as a way to communicate something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it had, that it was like powerful enough that I, it would be worth it for me to create more clothes because it was already too many in the world mm -hmm. and yoga was a subject. So then I sort of blend my two passions. Yeah, into, put them together. Yeah. Yeah, that's really amazing. And is it, was there a reason why you came to Australia from Chile? No, I only came to learn English for one year. <laughs> and then you stayed? Twelve years ago. Yeah. I just want to say, yeah, it was the same for me. No, I'm just going to go check out Australia. It's going to be play. It's going to be great. And ten years later, I was still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it goes. It's uh, it, it, They suck you in there, down under. They do. <laughs> they do. Yeah. And and do you, enjoy, do you enjoy living in Australia? Yeah. Yeah. It's my home now. Yeah. I don't have any family here well over time I have built family that is mm -hmm. like not from the blood but like yeah connections that are really strong and it feels home and it's a place yeah I feel really safe which is one of the most important reasons like the reason why I decided to stay here and not going back home mm -hmm. like yes yeah, I love Sydney um mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's it's good Yeah, it's a good. It's definitely a good place, and also the community that you're in it was also the community that I was in, and it's a beautiful, you know, loving community, and you know, everybody is open to everything and everyone, and that's a that's a beautiful. And I think that's also really what I feel you do with Yogi Town is also really it's so inclusive, you know. Like I feel that you really, um, you know, everybody, every, everybody is welcome, and everybody can be, you know. Uh, wearing or you know buying Yogi Town because it's it's for everybody, right? Like even though your message is clear and clear, you know, most of the time a yoga or a vegan message. But I love also when you look at your Instagram. There's so many different people wearing it. So many, you know, like you, you go all over the world, right? Like you, people wear your stuff everywhere. Yeah, sort of. It's funny because right? I. I mean, after four years, sometimes going to the beach and seeing someone that is wearing <laughs> rings, and I'm like, oh my god, this is like becoming rich. Yeah. But um, yeah, like I, I guess I'm really sh no shy, but I just like to be behind mm -hmm. the scene. Yeah. And I just do it because I feel it's a message that it has to be there, not really f because. I don't know. I, there is a battle between like how much money you need. To, mm -hmm. I need to make and how many products I need to create, or how often I need to create a new collection. Which actually, I don't work with collections. I mm -hmm. work like like the inspiration has to come mm -hmm. then from there. The signs come, so I don't have a summer or winter. Mm -hmm. It's just. Um, It's just, yeah, really um, uh, sort of organic in the yeah. way that that it grows. And then if somebody like you or anybody wants something special, then I work towards that, like yeah. to 
data design for that purpose. So if the subject is about climate change, then I feel really strongly that like Yogi Town needs to say something and have a say in that is what what our ethos are. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. It all begins from what's happening in the world and what is necessary to remind ourselves and well, as well, like, it's some subjects that it really deserve. Like, I feel that, for me, it's some of the designs, they need to be out there because they deserve to be well-known. Mm-hmm. Like, um, yeah, they just, yeah, sort of that. Yeah. I don't know it really. No, but it's it's good. So so also so for example, if we look at like what your week looks like, because do do you do you run because Yogi Town is just you, right? Which is yeah. ama- which is amazing. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, uh, it's incredible. Yeah, um, it's it's so it's so wonderful. Um, so do you do you do it full time? Like, do you like do you look at yourself and like what is your weekly schedule like? Like on Monday you go in, or do you go in every day, or how how do you how do you work? Yeah, I come every day. I come to the studio every day. Um, it uh, on Thursdays and Fridays is usually my printing days, mm-hmm. and I try my best to draw every day, which not all the time happens. <laughs> so, um, draw whatever it is, like anything, just plans, whatever, just like start doodling around and sort of like keep keep that yeah. happening all the time regular practice um, mm-hmm. yeah yeah exactly and um then well emails yeah you know all that all all admin uh a lot of planning um I'm trying, like at the moment, I'm I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, this is good because I'm looking <laughs> for some print in Europe. Ah. My plan is was really to take um, Yogi Town to the try. Yeah, yeah, for Jiva Mukti Yoga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so sort of expand it and have like I I didn't want to take all my prints from here because I don't want to have so much carbon footprint. So mm-hmm. my idea to to find someone in Spain or somewhere in Europe that I could be printing from there and then yeah. from there expand there around. Yeah. So I'm still in search of that. Ah, okay, that's and, good to know. Yeah, and contacting a few other sort of like yoga studios that they, they will be interested in um, in stocking yeah. some of my... Yeah, wonderful. And so you, yeah. you're looking for, some, for a screen printer in Europe who will be screen printing for you, right? Yes. And you'll be sending yeah. over your designs. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. No, I'll definitely, I think, well, this podcast or definitely me personally, as you know, my, my boyfriend is a screen printer, so I'm sure we can uh, we, we can help you out because uh, we're in this together, girlfriend. We're in this together always. <laughs> I, I think it's really smart. I mean, I definitely think, I mean, for example, um, which, which you know, for us in Europe, especially when I was in Portugal, because they were really strict there, but in general... It's very hard to order anything from Australia or America or the U.S., you know, because um, because we just get charged heavily at customs a lot of times. So sometimes you don't even get it. You know, sometimes things just get stuck. So I think and also what you're saying, of course, also about the carbon footprint. I think it's nice to um, yeah. and it's and I think you, and I think you are very popular in Europe. You know, I think that um, and also people here are. Uh, because Australia is beautiful and it's amazing and it's so nice that you can spread it there. But Australia, at the end of the day, is an island, and you know, yeah. like, um, <laughs> and, and it's a. I mean, to me, it's the best country in the world. Like, it's like I'm. My heart is still there, you know, and I miss it every day. Um, mm-hmm. But I definitely have felt it as well when I was living in Australia. Like, well, there is only so much you can do there because at you know at the end of the day, it is so far away from everybody and everything. So I think getting your stamp out here and getting your, you know, putting your foot in the ground here in Europe would be, I'll be all for it. And I'll be supporting you all the way, whatever uh, I can do to help you. Yeah, but it's a, it's a plan that it slowly has to like 